What is up guys, my name is Smashbox Steel and welcome to another episode of Sakura Space. And last episode we had um had some really awesome alone time with Shika and god damn she was fucking fucking a dildo. <laughs> That's basically it. She was she, I love it when we win a chance. Yep. That was pretty fucking awesome. Fuck yeah, alright. And then I hope this is gonna it's gonna be like the rest of this for these two girls, cause fuck. She was fucking hot in that CG, but damn. I would like to see Nami in that shit. Nami! That's my favorite girl in that in this series. Alright, perhaps it would be the better idea to stay in our quarters after all. Then again, most of our companies are familiar with their shenanigans. So perhaps this won't be too much of a problem. There are two uh, there's two cause with such a scene between the both of them. I will just have to roll with the punches at th this time. I was, as we pass by a cafe, I can hear the mer mercenaries chanting among themselves. So, have you heard about that one billion dollar, uh, one billion dollar bounty? Who hasn't heard about it? Everyone here wants to have a crack at it, you know. Well, it looks like the bounty has not gone unnoticed. This means we have to be a to be careful too. It sounds like a whole lot of talking about nothing to me. What? One million imperial dollars is nothing? The mercenary snuts. Sorry that we are, aren't all driving diamond in church ships like you are. You know that diamonds are worthless in this galaxy? They've been mi mining a damn planet with us, of the uh, stuff of for years. You know what I mean. The point is that even if it turns out to be a hoax, it's worth having a look. That would just be a waste of everyone's time. There's no way of knowing the bounty is even legit or not. Ouch. That you probably would pay, wouldn't pay up at the end either. If someone has the kind of dough just lying around, then they would probably have that kind of all hired muscle to ensure that merch will claim the bounty mysteriously disappears. Well, when you put it that, like that, maybe I, it'll be better to stick to a safer job. There's no replacement of this world for hand for hard work, sadly. Looks like everyone's excited about this bounty. It would seem that way. Hey, you lot, do you mind? We're trying to have a conversation here. My apologies, gentlemen. No staring at no point in starting a fight. Passed by the electronic shop, Kotri's eyes glimmer with excitement. Remember that we have to be careful with our budget at, for the time being. Only buy things that we are which are essential. All of this looks fairly essential to me. I just shake my head. Nami, however, does not appear to be interested in any of it. Is there something that you want us to see while we're here, Nami? There are a number of different things you can buy here. I want food. We have not restocked in ages. She makes a fair point. Oh, right. That is an excellent idea. We have to restock on bacon first and foremost. Fuck yeah, bacon, dude, yes! I'm excited for that shit. You should really cut back on the bacon. Ah, this is a fucking housewife now, damn it. Not you too. If you plan to have so much bacon, you should really do swimming with me. It will be a great way to burn off all that fat. It isn't that bad. And I do plenty of work. Everyone in my crew is so carefree. I sometimes wonder if there's any point of me being the captain at all. What we need to do is buy an array of healthy, fresh ingredients. I know many diet plants which would be perfect, perfect for energy and combat awareness. Perhaps you would like to try it, Captain. What about you, Kotori? Nope. I'm fine just as I am. But your diet is far more from optional. Optimal. My stomach works very different from everyone else's. You see, it's highly important that I get the right amount of sugar daily. How else do you think I have all this energy? It would explain a lot, in retrospect. Anyway, that would not be necessary. Just stock up on a variety of different supplies. If you, if you can make it something healthy from our stores, then great. If not, then we will just make do. Earth-like ingredients are few and far between of this ship. Since we pass by all sorts of different places, you can end up with some exotic ingredients. Exotic ingredients, you might say. Was that one of like, your exotic items from an exotic... Uh, you know, it doesn't, I don't think that actually matters, actually. <laughs> Let's just hope that no one decides to pick up a piece of fruit because it looks pretty. Is something wrong, Captain? You seem troubled. I just remembered that I had something I needed to do. You two go on ahead without me. Are you sure? It's nothing. 
Yes, yes, please. I'll be fine. The two of them seem reluctant, but they don't say anything. Okay, we'll be back before you know it. Let's go buy dinner, Nami. Understood. The two of them disappear out of sight. Good. Oh, something's gonna happen real quick. I just feel, hear the freaking music. Oh, damn. Yeah, I'm gonna put the volume up a little bit more. I go to an isolated part of the ship where I'm sure no one else is around. Alright, you can come out now. Now, what business do you have with me? It's probably just my imagination. Maybe those two mercenaries who were listening to er who we were listening to earlier. Around here, people tend to solve their disputes that way. Strictly not lethal, of course. It goes against company policy to injure other employees. For a long time, there appears to be no one here. There. Then I, I then hear a giggle echo through the hall. Oh, I am just curious about you. It's, it's a woman's voice. I know better than not people. Than most people that you get a lot of strange people on this ship. It's massive and it passes by many different space stations and hubs throughout the galaxy. However, something about this woman makes me uneasy. If you were just curious about me, you could simply approach me and yet you followed me all the way here. I cannot help but doubt that you have good intentions. You possess a very analytical mind. Tell me, Captain Chica. Who do you think I am? You must be a drifter of some sort. I'm not good with faces, but I'm familiar with the teams you, who work around here. Anyone who knows me also knows better than to try and start a fight with me. I find it hard to believe that a random drifter begin happens to have business with me. So just who are you meant to be? Oh, believe me, we are connected. You took up a bounty's job recently, didn't you? Like everyone else here, you do odd jobs, and I'm sure that such a massive bounty would be irresistible to you. You seem to know a lot about me. That's a bit unsettling. Some strange woman followed me like this and I was only able to get a vague feeling of being watched. Whoever this person is, they are excellent at concealing themselves. This is a cause for concern. How can I help but let my hand rest in my pistol? You would be surprised at how popular your crew is. It does not matter what job you do, you always do it. You have something of a cult following throughout the galaxy. What I find odd, however, is that you are completely unaware of this. There are people who report sightings of your crew everywhere you go. This is the first time I have ever heard of this. Just what kind of fan base do we have then? I do not exactly glue myself in a digital pad like Coltery does, but that's something I have to worry about later. There's also another detail. Isn't it pub publicity available information when a team picks up, up a job? That's right. You have to make a declamation to the company when you take up a job. Every other employee on board the, the ship can find out who is doing that job if they look it up. So somehow this woman has gone far that, gotten that information. And she became aware that my team has, gone, has chosen this case. However, there will be hundreds of names on it by now, judging by the in interest generated. So why did you s single my crew out then? What exactly makes us stand out among the hundreds who are taking up that job? Oh, but you are very special, Captain. No, one, uh, no other mercenary company on board has a success rate as high as yours, do they? Holy shit, this fucking girl's hot as damn. God damn! Fuck, dude. It's then that a woman finally steps out of from the shadows. Her appearance. Wait, what is what's that she's holding? It all of a sudden clicks into place. So you must be Akane then. But how did you end up here? She looks interesting to, to say the least. The weapon that is her signature rests rest in one of her hands. I have no doubt that you figured out the pattern. But there are one other small detail you missed. A company ship also happened to visit the plants you are talking about. Soon then it hits me. So a company employee has been the one causing this mayhem? Something about it did seem familiar to me. In other words, it was you. Precisely. 
You're a sharp one, aren't you? That ship just so happens to be docked at this capital ship. She's just giving me, she's giving all this away so easily. You wouldn't reveal this information unless you were supremely confident that you wouldn't be caught. Although I am not certain that this woman is ready, really who she claims to be yet. Why she is doing to spit? Oh my god! <sighs> Sorry guys. What she is doing does fit in the pr my previous. There, my god, hang on the fucking light. Let me move this shit. Move this over here. Put the game over here. This fucking light disturbs me like hella. I block myself like this. Oh, man, maybe I need to get closer. Maybe that's why. Fuck, guys. Shit. What is she doing? What she is doing does fit in my previous theories about her. Oh, uh, fuck. I keep forgetting I don't have it. She leaves visible traits and clues on purpose. She must believe herself to be untouchable, even by people who are extreme, intense, extensively trained. Now, that is a bit worrying considering that I'm facing her by myself. Also correct. But I don't think I'll tell you why I'm untouchable by you. You enjoy a bit of detective work, don't you, Captain? Well, my job does often require me to employ some using detective skills, yeah. She'll be a good cop. Well, yeah. That's already something else that I have an idea of. You have training. I can tell by the way you move. Even now, she acts cat-like grace. Exactly, fuck. Cat ears, basically. She's carefully po posed, posed, I don't know, poised, I think, just standing in the right position. Judging by the length of her whip, I will guess she has about a three meter, about a three meter reach. And she just happens to be roughly that close to me right now. You would be correct once again. Before you ask me why I picked your crew, what do you think this is the answer? Um, let's be fucking cocky, let's be perhaps like that at random. You said that we had such a high success rate. But there are many other company messages that companies out there. So perhaps you selected want someone at random. Not at all. I picked you very much on purpose. Despite everything I am a very big fan of yours. Wouldn't it be fun to be getting involved in one of your adventures? I thought to myself. Did you set up this bounty deliberately just to lure me out? Oh no, it wasn't me. I'm just taking advantage of the situation. The whip begins to crackle with power. So the great, so can the great Captain Shika and her crew capture Akira. Legnema. Legnema. I can't help but let a smirk form on my face. Akira the Enigma. Quite a grandiose time you got in giving yourself. From what I've seen, your adventures are the significant of grandiose. So I would not want to disappoint. I can't wait to see what, the, what sort of fun we will have together. She already sounds like she's she's sure of her victory. However, this is just one detail that you overlooked, and that also may be your downfall, Akane. Whatever might that be, Captain. You just saved me the trouble of finding you myself. I'm sure that you're ready to play a game of cat and mouse with my crew. Because I don't think you are. You have training and expertise, but you're way too early to be able to beat some of the best in the business. If you know me, then you know that you're going to be f for quite the fight. I can just giggles. Oh, I most certainly am ready. After all, you still have lots of missing pieces to the puzzle. I, you know, at the moment is my allies. I'm just a drifter who came onto the ship recently. No one else here knows my face or my name. She begins to slip back into the shadows. I will see you soon, Chica. I cannot wait to see what sorts of fun we will have together. It's then that I see my I see many security drones drifting in from the hallways. All of them look like newer models. Faster reflexes, better networking, more precision. Not the kind of thing you can s just find lying around. Oh. Oh, you were even kind enough to leave me some of your for some target practice. 
I have to take a moment to analyze them before I strike. As far as I can see, they're equipped with non-lethal weapons. She said she was a she was a fan, so I'm just going to presume that she isn't out to kill us. But if I'm actually going to hit the by those drones, it'll be rather humiliating. Reputation is everything in this line of work, after all. Holy shit, she looks fucking badass. Holy fuck. I reach in and pull out my pistol. Is that a fucking... I don't think... What the fuck kind of drone is that? Well, those are kind of cool. Damn, the music. Let's see if you hear it. Damn, that's just fucking... That's fucking sick. I reach in and pull out my pistol. A barrage of paralyzing rails sta uh, rains down from above. Just as veins have above. I dive behind cover. They're only robots, so I don't have to adjust my pistol's destructive power. Squeezing the trigger, I feel a powerful blaster rough from its barrel. An explosion takes out a portion of the drones, but more and more arrive from seemingly out of nowhere. Ah, there's the compact model. So they shouldn't be too hard to deal with. But overwhelmingly my numbers may be a problem. I duck from cover to cover, firing at drones when, whenever I get a clear shot. I'm not taking them down, however. Pistol configuration, fully automatic. Instead of concentrating all the energy pistol shots, I fire a spray of deadly pellets at the enemy. They pierce through the drones like plattering, destroying quite quanti quantities of them every time I come back out from behind cover. Also, her guns have like a um, fire rate adjustments, basically. That's pretty cool. It seems that the drones begin to change their tactics. They begin firing shots which have an, an arc. Attempt to shoot me while I'm still behind cover. I'm forced to roll out of the open to avoid being stunned. Pistol configuration. EMP. Why don't you just do that before? But I don't know if actually EMP is a good idea since you're on a ship. Most drones have these days shielded from EMP types. Most, most drones these days are shielded from EMP type attacks. My pistol doesn't have enough punch to able to destroy them. But this should be enough to stun them while I find new cover. For a moment, the drones scatter in the air erratically. Several of them catch into each other, causing them to fall onto the metal floor in a crumpled heap. Complexed. But that still leaves a sizable number of them. Unleashing a, another barge of automatic fire, it's soon down to f just a few of them. The AI which runs with these networking drones seems to be in a disarray. The drones are retreating from the hall, regrouping at the end of it. This time, they s approach slowly. It's a systematic approach, slowly emitting potential places where I can take cover. But it isn't going to help. Now there's only a few of them left. I do not have to worry about much cover after as much. As soon as I step out, all of them lock their tar targeters onto me. Fortunately, paralysis around around some move a bit slower than conventional bullets. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm not going to explain a lot of this. This is a bunch of... I just read this shit and fuck. Which, I don't want to ruin the moment. It's fucking cool. Oh, okay. I am able to stand out in the open, dodging the projectiles with ease. I fire back, and it's over. Damn. Among the twisted metal hucks of the drones, I can't help but let a grin spread on my face. It's been a long time since I enjoyed myself like this. Not only is this job going to pay really well, it's also going to be a lot of fun. But, I need to think about this more carefully. If she's using non-lethal weapons, then what does she, what does that mean? Then I think we're gonna find out in the next episode, cause damn, fucking Akane looks fucking fine as fuck, dude. I can't wait to see a CD of her. Yeah, dude. All right. If you guys, alright, this is where we're going to end the episode. Fucking, she guys are fucking badass. Damn. Alright, well, if you guys enjoyed the episode, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Soccer Space. See you guys later. Goodbye.